everybody. Welcome to the seasonal onsite acting party. If you haven't joined one of these before, if we haven't met on an office hour session or anything like that, my name is Megan. I live in Denver, Colorado, and I do a lot of the customer support as well as onboarding to make sure you guys are set up for success with your Edgar accounts. And content batching parties are one of my favorite things to do because we really get to know you guys on a more personal live level. Um, and when I say we, I mean my co-host, Maura, who is actually in Washington, D.C. She is going to be the one manning the chat for most of the day. Um, after we get done with kind of our presentation and demo stuff today, I'll stick around and do a lot of kind of Q&A at the end if we don't cover something you're hoping to cover. So definitely, if you don't get your question answered as it's going on, keep on track until the end. We might go a little over an hour today because I found so many examples. I am super pumped to share with you all about seasonal content batching. Um, so if you have to pop off before that, know the replay is going to be sent out to you in an email once we're done. So you'll get the replay. We have a lot of fun action items for you guys to take. Uh, so definitely have your Edgar accounts open, have your notepads out to take down some fun seasonal content ideas today. And I would love in the chat over there where you see Maura saying hi to you um, to know who's here. It gets kind of lonely on this side of the screen sometimes. So pop into the chat and let me know where you're tuning in from and let us know what business you're in. These are really fun to connect with other Edgar community members too, just because a lot of the time you guys are in the same industry and in the same business and you can share your handles with each other so you can support each other on social media and actually start to make those connections in real life. Um, so pop into the chat, let me know who's here, uh, either where you're tuning in from or what business you are in, and we will go ahead and get started with our seasonal content batching party. <clears throat> so as we get started today, like I said, we are going to go ahead and go over a lot of action items, go over a lot of stuff about actually, um, about actually going into... Uh, uh, your seasonal content in Edgar. But to start here, I want to make sure you guys understand why it's so important to batch your content in Edgar seasonally. Um, so this is because we really want to make sure that it's working for you and you're not working for it this holiday season. It's not going to be something we want you to take a ton of time doing during the holidays because we want you to be able to relax and have fun this holiday season. And we need those times to recharge as solopreneurs with Barbara and Jen over here popping on in that you guys are business consultants and podcasters and speakers. You know how much that takes out of you as a business person. And if you're working on empty, you're not building a business for the long run. So batching your content and making sure you have it ready ahead of time is so important so you can take some time off as a solopreneur this holiday season and actually get recharged so you can show up for your community in a better way. So thanks for sharing that here for sure. And you might be thinking, Megan, it's September. Why are you guys running a seasonal ba content batching party now? That's because really you're gonna start noticing the bigger brands as well as smaller brands out there are already looking to holiday content. Guys, I was scrolling through my social media feed the other day and I saw this pop up, the Hallmark Channel Countdown to Christmas starts in October. They're gonna start playing these holiday movies. It is on people's minds right now. Um, so definitely let me know if you guys are um, getting ready for your holiday content. I'm super excited to be able to see what you guys are doing. And I would love just to run a poll here just to kind of make sure um, that you guys are um, that you guys are staying active in the chat over here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this poll in here. Do you guys have a seasonal content batching plan? Are you guys thinking about this already? Let me know. Let me see what's going on with you. So it looks like a few of you don't, but that is why you're here. And that is why we are super excited to have you here. Um, so we can develop this plan. A couple of you do. Awesome. Thinking about it, Jen, you're thinking about it. Cool, cool. So like I said, now is the time to start getting these posts ready so you can not only relax during the holiday season, but also because the bigger brands as well as the smaller ones are starting to talk about this and you need to be a part of that. So in the next week, we want to be your accountability partner here at Edgar. We have a lot of action items going on in this webinar and these action items are going to be on slides that we call EAT slides, E-A-T, Edgar Action Time. 
Um, so if you do any of these items, and I'm gonna drop a handout in here, this will also be in the replay email, but this handout here has all of our Edgar action items that we're going through today. If you do any of these on this, go ahead and either DM or tag us in your Instagram stories on Twitter, um, send us a DM with a screenshot of you doing one of these, and we're gonna give you 50% off of your next month. That is how strongly we believe that this kind of batching works and how excited we are for you to be able to enjoy your holiday season. So please, please, please go ahead and grab that guide and go ahead and get ready to get your Edgar Action Items started. So as you're developing a plan, we wanna start with the end result first and work backwards, especially when it comes to batching. So with Edgar, you know how our categories work. You load your content into your categories and then you pop that category onto your schedule. We'll look at how you actually do this in Edgar to make seasonal categories that only run throughout the holiday season. And the cool thing about doing this is you can actually do some math here. So say you wanna run a campaign for 10 weeks over the holiday season. And you want to do this for a couple of months, building up to either Black Friday, building up to your New Year's sale, whatever it is, you can work backwards and do the math to know how many posts you need to put in that category. So say you want to run this campaign and send out three posts a week from this campaign. You're going to place that category on your Edgar schedule three times and you'll know how many pieces of content you need to actually create. So if you create 12 pieces of content in that category and it's on your schedule three times there, you've got a three month period there where you actually have all of your content established. So do the math with what works for your company and you'll see the great results of being able to relax this holiday season. Cool. Um, so, have your goals in mind and have this alignment. Have your why in mind when you're starting to batch your content too. You wanna to think about why you're doing this so you actually follow through and you can get that 50% discount on your next month. What do you guys wanna be spending time doing this holiday season? Posting a babies in your social media? Probably not. You wanna be spending time with your friends and family and actually working and pivoting in your business when it comes to the time that you need to. So have your why in mind so you actually follow through on this. I know I'm getting really cheerleading on this, but we really need you to have that why in mind and get in that alignment because it is so important when you're like, eh, I'll do this tomorrow, I'll do this tomorrow. No, have your end in mind and batch it out now. So that's why we're giving you one week to get that 50% discount on your next month. And another why that you wanna consider is people spend billions of dollars from October to December. You know it with Black Friday, with Small Business Saturday, with all of these fun things, but you can also think about how you can take stuff like this and create a sense of urgency in your actual posts. So you can see here, this is a status update that Edgar put out. I'm recycling the status update for this content batching webinar today, and we'll go into how you repurpose content to make sure you're not reinventing the wheel every time here. Um, but remind people of this, you know, in your posts that you're creating for this holiday season, remind people how close Thanksgiving is, how close Small Business Saturday is, um, and start getting people thinking about what they're going to do for their loved ones this time of year, because that emotional tie to the holiday season will get people, your followers in action to purchase your product or service. So sometimes creating a sense of urgency in your posts by reminding people how close the holiday season is can be super duper, um, super duper um, helpful for them to actually create that urgency to buy your product or service. And there's a lot of different holidays that you can actually capitalize on. It's not just the big ones of Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving. It's doing things like making a cheers to Oktoberfest post to really relate to people um, with a fun holiday vibe. Do a spooky Halloween post. Do a savings on Black Friday post. So these things are things you want to get really creative with date specific posts. Another thing you can do is start looking up calendars of like holiday posts, right? So you can go ahead and Google like national days in December and January. Like here, just uh, January 31st is National Hot Chocolate Day. That is prime for making a social media post to share out. If you're a local business, you can share a local event with this all that fun stuff, just look for really fun ways and off the wall ways to actually share this kind of content. So go ahead and look up some calendar dates or think of the more off the wall like spooky Halloween posts. You can actually create this holiday season and start to think what your special holiday offers are as well. What this comes down to is making some exclusive social media discounts for actual dates. 
So you can see here, this is an exclusive, exclusive holiday discount that we made. And you can see this code for our, um, for our discount was only for social media followers. So this is a great thing to think about doing in order to start to get more audience on social media and to gain more followers is to make sure you have some discounts that are only available if you're following your social media feeds. That's a great way to not only get your um, content out there, it's also a great way to get more followers. So how you actually want to do this in Edgar is a couple of different ways. is to create either a seasonal category or to use our send at a specific day and time session. So I'm going to share my screen right here. And we are going to look at an actual Edgar account on how you do this real quick. So when I pop right in here, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to my categories tab here. So if you want to create a holiday category or a holiday campaign, what you're going to do is go ahead and click this add new category button right here. You're going to make sure you uncheck this include when selecting random content to post. That means if you have any random time slots on your schedule, they're not going to post from this holiday category. Name it whatever you want, whether it's winter time posts, whether it's holiday posts, whatever makes sense for you. Black Friday deals, go ahead and name it that category and click on save. That will now be a category for you. You're going to go ahead and click to add new content to Edgar. You're going to go ahead and select that category from your drop down menu here. Check off all of the accounts you'd like this piece of content to go out to. Remember at Edgar, we always suggest amplifying your content out to as many content, out to as many um, as possible in order to make sure your message is hitting people where they like to consume content. Write your posts in this area here and go ahead and save it to your library. <clears throat> You'll go ahead, oh, Instagram needs a photo, save it to your library. You'll go ahead and now see that post is in your library. However, it's not gonna send out. So again, you can take the time to come in here and start loading your Black Friday posts or loading your Happy New Year's posts now, and they're not gonna send out from this category because that's not on your calendar. Once the time frame comes when you want that to send out, you'll go to your schedule here and you'll place that category on your schedule for when you'd like it to run. So I'll click into that area I'll go ahead and select my actual wintertime blogs category that we just created. Again, checking off the accounts, I would like this to have permission to go to over here. Clicking on save, and that's now gonna be a time slot. I can let this run through for however long I'd like. Once this is done, you're just gonna click into this area here, click on delete, and it's gonna go ahead and remove that category. And those actual posts you added to the wintertime category, again, will live in your library still, but they're not gonna send out, so you can still reuse them next year. Edgar will hold on to them, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So I would love for you guys to take some time now and think about the campaigns that you would actually like to create in Edgar. Open up your category tab right now, super easy, Edgar Action Time. Go ahead and add a winter category, a holiday category, whatever it is. Uncheck that include when selecting random content to post. So when this is over, you are ready to rock and actually add in your status updates there. Um, cool, so that is your first Edgar action item. I'm gonna go ahead and bump back into the slides now so we can actually go over a little bit more about your, um, about your actual post that we can create. Um, actually, you know what? I forgot that we were going to share the actual date. Sorry about that, guys. So in your Edgar account, one more thing that you can do. So that category option is really great for your campaigns. For your one-time posts, like if you wanted to go out and get your Happy New Year's Day posts or if you're running a one-day discount all Black Friday that you have a special code, you're going to go ahead and schedule these on the post level itself. So you're checking off the accounts again you want this post to go to. You're writing your post in this section here. You can always attach a photo or a video here. You can make a special holiday category or just keep it in your general category. But what you're going to do is use this drop down arrow here and click schedule, send and save. This is going to pop up an area where you can put a specific day and time you want this post to send. So you can get your happy Thanksgiving posts in here. You can get your happy New Year's Day posts in here so that when those holidays come, you get to spend time with your family rather than actually posting on social media. So these are really good for those national holiday posts like National Hot Chocolate Day, whatever you can find when you Google a list like that. Putting those in as posts here with a specific day and time is really great. 
Another pro tip if you're not making a category for these is under advanced settings, make sure you go ahead and mark it as a use once post so that once it sends on that specific day and time that you put in the schedule, send and save, Edgar will automatically expire it. It'll still live in your library, but it'll be there as an expired post. So if you wanted to edit it and add in a new date for next year, you can always do that. But other than that, you'll have that rest assured that it's not going to go out again. So take some time to go ahead and look at your special holidays, look at your content that you want to get in for a specific day and schedule them with the schedule send and save feature ahead of time so that you're not actually having to do it day of. Cool. So that is the two things that, especially for scheduling your seasonal categories and your schedule send and save option here, I want to make sure you're utilizing so that Edgar can help you post and be a part of your social media team this holiday season. Now we'll pop, pop back in to the slides that we were going through. So get your important dates into Edgar now. Cool. So bonus for this is I want you to think about ways you can create a sense of urgency. So stuff we were talking about before with how you can remind people with how close the holiday season is. So doing things like only 90 days till Christmas morning can really compel people to click on your links, get that call to action going so that they can make sure they're ready for the holiday when it's here. OK, so another thing I want you to start thinking about doing is I want you to get rid of this idea that you have this, I don't know what to say syndrome. When you say, I don't know what to say, it's typically this idea that you don't know your ideal customer avatar. What is your ideal customer doing this season? Sit down and take some time to think about this. You know, are they sitting around waiting for a flight and checking Instagram? How can you serve them in that moment? You can entertain them on your Instagram stories. You can put a funny holiday meme about traveling in your Instagram account. Don't underestimate entertainment on social media as a way to build really good brand vibes. If you're looking for a really unique gift for a mother-in-law, maybe you are a business who focuses um, on a product. If you're doing that, you know, give them an inspirational gift idea that you've given to your mother in the past or something like that. Being helpful on social media this time of year is a great way to attract new followers to get to know you as a person. Are they learning to cook their first meal? Or do you cater towards a young audience who's just getting started? Go ahead and make some recipes and share some cooking hacks that you like. Are they driving home for the holiday? Go ahead and create a road trip guide or create a playlist for them. These things, while they're not directly related to sales, are what is so good on social media because they build not only brand awareness, but they also build goodwill with your customers. If you're looking for a company who does this really well, check out Allstate. They do really great seasonal guides, like a, something with um, like how to get your car ready for the holidays, how to make sure your furnace is ready, stuff like that. Um, that's really not directly related to selling insurance, but you can see how it's closely related. So sit down and actually think what your ideal customer is doing. So that's your second Edgar action item that you can do to get 50% off your next month is sit down and make that list. Go ahead and screenshot it and send it to us to get that deal there. This is a really great way to also get back in touch with your ideal customer. It's so important to deeply understand who you're serving to make sure that you're making that really strong resonating connection with them. And sometimes it might be changing over the years that your business is growing. So it's a great time to reevaluate as well. You can also then start to use search engines to see what's trending. Guys, if you've never used like Pinterest or YouTube as a search engine to see what is trending in your actual niche, it is an awesome way to go ahead and connect with what content and what language people are searching for the most. Pinterest and YouTube are search engines, so go ahead and type into them. Um, you know, like holiday social media would be something Edgar would do. And it's going to come up with the top searches, similar as Google does, those recommendation um, in the drop downs that happen. And this gives you an idea on the language that your ideal customer might be searching for, as well as really getting to see what is trending. And this is really going to be important for you to use that language so that you can stand out because that's what people are searching for in order to grow your social media feeds. Awesome. So ideal val idea validation on Pinterest, on Google, on YouTube, type in what your niche is, type in questions you think your ideal customer is asking, and those are going to be generating holiday ideas for you. And if you're thinking, you know, I don't know about this, we're joining the conversation, um, but there's so much going on already. Look at all of the content that's out there for this already. 
remember, you are the only you who can put your spin on it with your voice. So don't get afraid of that. It's actually a great thing to be able to bring that information to your actual audience. And the market is not too saturated as long as you put in your unique perspective. So this is going to be another Edgar action item coming up here. So I want you to start thinking about what's your unique spin on the holiday spirit. Everyone's got holiday spirit, but only you have that unique spin from it. So I want you to really start to get um, in touch with what your unique spin is on the holidays. This is a really great post example I wanted to throw in here about a unique spin. So you can see here, this is um, uh, a coffee shop that says, have you ever tried to bake your favorite Christmas cake blindfolded? All right, so there's gonna be a ton of content out on social media about baking for Christmas. Come on guys, baking around this time of year, so good. But look at this unique spin on it, baking blindfolded. That is an attention grabber. That is something unique and different that they're doing. So think about something unique and different that you can offer to a common theme going on, and it is a great way to get in touch with your audience and gain new followers to your social media. <clears throat> so. This is going to be something, um, as you're starting to validate your ideas and using those search engines, Edgar can, can actually help you get your unique spin on this by actually using like our RSS feeds and our Edgar bookmarklet. So this is your next Edgar action item, and I'm gonna share my screen right here to show you a couple of things that can be really helpful for this. Um, so if you are out like on Pinterest and you find a really great article for, um, or if you're out on Google and you find a really great article that you want to share here. Um, so let's say I'm saying social media holiday um, guide. So social media holiday guidelines, whatever it is. And I say, oh, a social media calendar. This is great. I want to share this with my followers. What you can do is use our bookmarklet right up here. If you haven't downloaded this yet, you can go to our help center and I'll put the link in the chat here in a minute. But you can see I have this Edgar icon right up here. I could just go ahead and click on this Edgar icon in my browser and it brings up my add new content screen right here. So, so helpful. So all I have to do is check off the accounts that I want this to go out to over here. I can either put this into my holiday campaign category, perhaps I created a winter blogs curated content or something like that, or my holiday curated content category. I can go ahead and select it into there, whoopsie. Um, I can go ahead and add in any variations if I wanted this piece of content to send out multiple times during the holiday season, but test different messaging. That's what our variations feature here is for. It was specifically built for Twitter because Twitter has a term of service saying you can't send the same tweet to the same Twitter account more than once anymore. However, this is used for all of the accounts, so it's a great way to test out different messaging and to create a little authenticity. So I can go ahead and introduce this blog with a different spin on it. Remember, we're thinking about our unique spin. So pull out something from that article that really touched you this holiday season. You know, talk about why, talk about how you relate to it. Stuff like that is gold to make sure your community is connecting to you and you're getting a unique spin on this piece of content. And then you can just add it to your library right from this extension. Really awesome here. The other thing you can do with curated content is say you've actually got like a blog that you know focuses only on holiday stuff. You can actually go into Edgar's um, import tab and add it as an RSS feed here. So our import tab here allows you to add in as many blogs as you'd like. Um, say this was like a holiday blog, obviously that's the Edgar one here. I go ahead and click find RSS feed here. If you've never used the RSS feed reader, what it's gonna do is it's gonna automatically pull in the past content from that blog. And then every 24 hours, it's gonna check to see if a new blog post has been released within that time frame. So if you know one of your favorite bloggers um, is going to be out there blogging a ton of Christmas content, you could add in their feed for just this season. You could put it like in your winter blogs category or your curated content category. Um, so that your uh, feeds are, so that your posts are always going there. Again, checking off the accounts you'd like to have permission for these posts to go out to. Definitely recommend sending it to your pending queue so that you have the approval process available so you can approve it and reject it before it sends out. And then you can go ahead and let these automatically come into your library. Once the holiday season's over, if you no longer want those posts to come into your pending queue, you can always come in to your import tab to this manage RSS feed section and go ahead and use this little drop down arrow to delete the feed. So again, if you find a blog that you know produces a ton of really great holiday content that you would like to share to your followers, 
add it as an RSS feed to save you some time, as well as making sure you're getting our bookmarklet downloaded so that you can always just click it and add it right to Edgar. Awesome. So let's pop back in here. So that's your other Edgar action item. If you add an RSS feed, if you go ahead and add in anything from the bookmarklet with curated content, of course, with a personal spin is for your bonus there. Go ahead and screenshot it so you can get that 50% discount there. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys are having trouble downloading that guide, I'll go ahead and put it in the replay email as well. Sorry about that, Betty. I'll go ahead and link it in the replay email so that you can get it. But it's going to be just this, all these bonus extra slides and stuff will be right in there for you. Um, cool. So as a bonus here, I want you guys to know that we have a new emoji picker. I'm not sure if you've even um, seen this yet, but it's so fun to play with. So let me go ahead and share my screen right here as a bonus, especially as you're doing like curated content. It can be a really fun way just to make it a lot more um, a lot more spicy this holiday season with some fun candy canes, with some fun turkey emoji, stuff like that. So when you're clicking or editing content now, when you click to add new content, the emoji picker is just gonna be right here. And you can just click into it and start to scroll through all the emojis. You can find your emojis right down here, and you can start to add those into Edgar now with this emoji picker. So make sure you are going in there and sharing some Christmas love with emojis, sharing some Happy New Year's love, sharing some Hanukkah love, sharing some spooky Halloween ghost emojis, super fun to use. So that's your bonus if you use our new emoji picker go ahead and screenshot that at us as well. Cool. So moving on a little bit here, we're going to go right on into this relatable aspect a little further. So you want to have your ideal client in mind and you want to make sure that you are relating to them. And this can be something as small as thinking about what the holiday spirit gets people with, um, like annoyed with or excited about. This post here I love. Um, you know, praying for peace on earth, or at least in the mall. That is a relatable experience that is really great for this brand, who's a clothing brand, to go ahead and share. So think how you can play on these common themes, but make them a little funnier. Again, attaching emotion to them is really great. Don't forget about doing things like nostalgia and having your audience say, oh, me too, this is something that I totally experienced this holiday season. So as you're curating content or coming up with your own, think about that relatable experience there. Now, we talk a lot about upcycling in Edgar, and that is because we don't want you to have to reinvent the wheel. I know how much work you actually put into your status updates that are already in your Edgar library. So I want you to start thinking about what your core features are. You know, what are your core features of your product or service, and how can you go ahead and introduce those in a seasonal way? This is gonna speak to the experience people are actually having, right? So you might have posts in your library that already introduce your features, but they're gonna be more relatable. Remember, we're talking about that relatable experience. They're gonna be more relatable if they're in a holiday vibe. So this is a really great example here from Shutterstock saying, filling your stockings with helpful features, save, edit, and share images in this collection. They're speaking to what's going on now with your actual holiday um, and making these features available um, for their advertising on social media, but again, resonating with what's going on. So think about how you can play on this with your core features, putting some status updates in Edgar there. So I want you to have an Edgar action item of actually getting your core features, your core offerings, your core actual service or product, and putting a holiday spin on it. You can go ahead and add this as like a use once post if you don't wanna make a whole category for it and use that schedule send and save feature that we looked at but go ahead and make one of those. It's a great way to relate to what's going on, but still get your actual holiday spirit going out there. Bonus, a great option for holiday content is actually to do a demo of your product or service. Get on a screen share, get on a video, use a program like Loom. Um, go ahead and use a program like QuickTime on your computer to film a video and then make that CTA if you're buying this as a gift. Here, this is great to go ahead and send this product demo along with that gift for someone. It's a great, helpful way not only to show the ins and outs of your product, but to also make sure that the people who are getting gifted your service or your product this holiday season have a great demo and know how to use it. Um, also think about your mission statement. So as we go further along in the marketing world, it's becoming more and more important as things are getting more saturated that your mission and that your values are shared so much more often. So you need to start sharing what your mission and value is to differentiate yourself from others out there on social media. So this is a really great example here. You know, the U.S. Postal Service 
is going ahead and sharing their mission in a holiday way. One delivery at a time, we're spreading holiday cheer across the nation. How can you do that with your mission statement? You know, for Edgar, our mission statement is to help small businesses make sure they don't have to babysit their social media. So you can work on your business and not have to constantly be on social all the time. We can go ahead and make sure that we're actually tying in how you can use that time during the holiday season um, and put that mission statement out there as a reminder for why Edgar is so important to free up your time. How can you do that with a core value your company has or with your mission statement by just putting a little bit of holiday cheer, whether it's for Halloween, whether it's for, again, Christmas, anything like that. Write down your mission statement, make it a little cheery, add it to your Edgar account. And this is another Edgar action item you can use to get 50% off your next month. So share your mission statement, share your values in a seasonal way and go ahead and add it into Edgar. Next, give your evergreen content a spruce up, pun much intended there. Uh, so your old content in Edgar might have been shared a ton of times through, right? So your old blog posts might have gone out five or six times from Edgar now, which is great, again, because you never know when you're gonna nurture someone and when they're gonna actually feel compelled to actually click through on that. So our evergreen strategy is so important. But if you have time to actually go in there and identify your top performing blog posts and then actually put a holiday twist on them, this can make it a little bit better for the resonating factor in the holiday season, and it can help you get that message out there that might catch someone's eye a little bit differently. You never know where they're on the customer journey, where they're going to actually have that moment of, you know what, I do need this product or service. So doing a little bit of research into what your top performing blog posts are and going ahead and repurposing them with a seasonal theme can really help you maybe resonate with someone who has just been jaded by your posts going by them on social media before. This is a really great um, example here by the Parks Foundation for opt outside and find your park this holiday season. Create new holiday traditions in national parks. This is the same content that they had before, um, but they're just repurposing it on their blog and resharing it in a new format. This is a great thing to either do on your actual blog or if you don't have time to create a whole new blog post from it, just do it in your status update. This could have been an article just about um, how to take advantage of national park traditions. And you can go ahead and uh, just in your status update, do the holiday part. So this is a really great thing to do um, by actually identifying like your top performing posts and spruce them up for the holidays. So let me show how you can actually do that in your Edgar history tab here. Um, so when you go into your Edgar account, the way you can see like what your top performing posts are is going to your history tab right here and going to this all time clicks header. So this can actually be clicked and it'll sort your posts to show you the posts that have received the most amount of clicks down to the least amount of clicks. And this is great for you to start to get an eye on and see you know, what posts are really resonating so that you can take those and put a holiday spin on them. Um, you can always click this view performance history here to get to the actual post to see what's been sent out, You know, what time of day this has received, really great engagement. And then just go ahead and click on edit. So remember from that history tab here, how I got here is I clicked on this all time clicks header. It's sorted my posts to show me the posts that got the most clicks down to the least clicks. I'm going ahead and clicking on this view performance history button right here. And then I can click edit to get to the post itself. And it's super simple for me then to just grab this link here. Um, you can go ahead and copy and paste this link here. Go ahead and click to add new content. Add it to your holiday category here in Edgar. Go ahead and place this here and start to come up with a couple of different status updates that will make this actually really holiday-y rather than just how you've been sharing it before. Use your variations to test a couple of different messaging, stuff like that. So that is your next Edgar action item to actually be able to go on in there and locate your top posts and put a holiday spin on them. It's also super fun, again, just so that you can kind of do an audit of what your top posts are if you haven't looked at the history section in a while. Cool. I also want you to think about how you can pull out different tips and pull quotes and repurpose what your core kind of pillar content is this holiday season. So as you're looking at your top tips and kind of what your core promise to your customer base is, I want you to really go in there and think about how you can repurpose this. So obviously Edgar is all about planning ahead. We are all about batching your content. We do this every month, not just in the holidays. It is all about getting this content um, ready to go so that you're not scrambling every single day to post on social media. So we can actually just take this and say how to plan ahead 
for holiday content. We talk about Power Plan Ahead all the time, but this is a great status update here that we're just taking a core pillar piece of content that we talk about all the time, planning ahead for your social media, and repurposing it with a couple of holiday words in there. So we're not reinventing the wheel, we're not coming up with a whole new topic to talk about. We have all of this research done, how we know it works, we've tested it ourselves, and we're gonna share that value as a tip. So you can go ahead and think about your pillar content, what message is getting out there a lot, and what's working with resonating with your actual, um, with your actual community, and then going on in there and adding this as a tip with a seasonal vibe to it. Um, cool, so think about the ways you can actually get your tips on out there. Another thing to do is if you know you don't have a ton of tips that you feel comfortable repurposing, um, like with your pillar content, think about common things that are going on this season that you can make into holiday tips. Perhaps you create a holiday tip category for this. This is a great post I found on social media about top wrapping tips. You know that's an experience everyone is going through this time of year that they probably hate. No one's a pro rapper. It's not something that ever looks as good as it does, but you can go ahead and provide your followers tips that way. So think about a combination of making your pro tips on the pillar content you share holiday themed as well as just some straight up holiday themed posts so that you can talk into what your ideal customer is going through in that moment so they have that, oh my God, he or she gets me moment with your brand. Cool. So I want you to go ahead and make either a seasonal tips category or add a one-time seasonal tip as an Edgar action item. Think about how you can do this. Add it into Edgar with the schedule, send and save, use once feature, or make a holiday seasonal category. Um, we have a help article for that holiday seasonal category too, which I'll go ahead and share in the chat at the end if you forget those steps of adding the category on and off your schedule that way. All right, so the season of generosity. Social media is all about generosity, guys, so why would you not play into that this time of year for offering generosity and value? I want you to keep it super simple when it comes to expressing gratitude as well. You know, keep your photos really oriented um, towards <clears throat> these warm colors, these vibes that are really important this holiday season. And think about how you can use this to do things like keeping the partnerships alive. You know, you can actually tag in Edgar on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. So think about the ways that you've worked with past companies or past influencers this season and give them a little shout out. Make those connections stronger as you're going throughout your holiday season. Expressing gratitude can be as simple as remembering the fact that you're just thankful for your customers. This is a really simple pro tip to be able to go on in there and go ahead and just say happy Thanksgiving to our customers, ask what you're thankful for to get a little bit more engagement there. You can do something as simple in Photoshop or Canva as going in there, adding your logo and making a little happy Thanksgiving. Don't overcomplicate it and add it in as a schedule, send and save, use once post there. The simple little thing about actually thinking about what would you just say to your friends and family? What are you gonna say to them this time of year? If you're sitting there racking your brain being like, I don't know what to say to my followers, Think about what you would say with your friends and family. You know, take a picture of your favorite person to your computer and construct the posts like you were writing directly to them. That is what's winning on social media. Think about what you would text a friend on that holiday and use that language so that it comes across super genuine. So don't overcomplicate it and actually write to that you're one person rather than writing to a big group so that when the person reads it, it hits them in a way they feel like you're speaking directly to them. Other things you can do to express gratitude this time of year is think about ways you can actually give back to your community. At Meet Edgar, we have an Octopal program where if you share your Octopal link, which you can find in your Meet Edgar settings, um, you get $10 off your next subscription. And around Valentine's Day, we doubled that for our members. That's a great thing to go ahead and get as a holiday post in there. Think about ways you can make sure your affiliate program gets doubled during the holidays to express gratitude there. And it's also a great post to go ahead and add in as a use once post, like we did here for this seasonal post for Valentine's Day. Um, you know, sharing the Edgar love to be able to make sure that you're going to receive um, a $15 Amazon gift card on top of your Octopal discount that way for the person who gets the most links, um, uh, the most links shared at that time of year. So think about ways you can get creative with actually getting into your um, getting into your affiliate programs and offering your um, community so much more value. So keep it simple and make a gratitude post as your next Edgar action item, whether it's actually going in and creating a graphic in Canva, 
super simple to do and adding it to your Edgar as a use once post for like your Thanksgiving, your Halloween, stuff like that. Or going on in there and making a um, gratitude post to give back to your community upon sending them an Amazon gift card in order to do something for you, like share your links, stuff like that is a great thing to speak into the generosity of this time of year. Cool. Um, okay, Joe, sorry. So let me show you the Octopel link real quick if you guys have never seen it and you guys want to recommend Edgar to anyone. Um, your Octopel link is if you go to your account here and you go to your settings, uh, you can find it right here. It's going to be this Octopel link section. And if you just go ahead and click copy here and you share this link with anyone and they sign up for Edgar, you get $10 off your next bill and they get $10 off their second month. This section here that says, what is an Octopal? If you click that, it goes ahead and explains the whole program as well. Um, but yeah, if you have any program like that, this time of year is a great way to go ahead and like double the savings on it or something like that um, as kind of an incentive post to your followers that way. Cool, so think about your gratitude post, get them into Edgar as your Edgar action item. Cool, so going a little further here, play on people's desire to change this time of year. So change in the new year is something you know people are gonna resonate with, you know everyone is thinking about it, and think how you can add to that conversation and be an actual accountability partner for your, your followers' New Year's resolutions. Remember that accountability bit and that community bit is really important on social media. So think about how you can go ahead and ask your followers questions about what their New Year's resolutions are. Add that as a post to Edgar to send out for you around the new year. It's great to get engagement points on social media because people love talking about their goals and themselves and actually state that you're going to be there to support each other because what makes you stand out as a brand rather than just posting all the time and kind of broadcasting to an audience is creating a community on social media. And how do you create a community? You ask questions and you support each other. So get that really great engagement vibe going by actually asking your community what their resolutions are, what they're looking to change in the new year. As a bonus, you know what this does? It gives you a gold mine of information about who your customers are, who's engaging with you, so you can take that into your actual marketing plan for the coming year. So think about ways you can ask your audience on social media what their goals are. If you don't want this to be something that lives on your feed, use Stories. Stories has that option in order to go ahead and um, in order to go ahead and create a poll where people can type it in, stuff like that. It is great to be able to schedule stories in Edgar as well. You can schedule Instagram stories. When that push notification comes to your phone, it's always gonna ask you if you wanna post it to your story or to your feed. So if any of these kinds of posts, you're like, you know what, I don't want this to live on my actual curated feed, go ahead and put it into Edgar still so we can go ahead and send it to your stories as well. Think about more questions that you can ask to capitalize on this engagement this time of year too. You know, this is a great post example here saying who has a head start on your Christmas shopping. Again, super relatable. Everyone's going through it and it gets a ton of engagement because people want to talk about the stress. They want to talk about their wins. They want to talk about their sales as a savvy shopper. So think about those relatable experiences that you can go ahead and add in there. All right. So as a bonus, if you're adding in that accountability post of actually saying, you know, what is your New Year's resolution? What are you looking to change this year? As a bonus, actually add in a holiday related questions category and let that run throughout the holiday season about asking people what their favorite movie is, what their favorite holiday dish or recipe is, what their favorite wrapping hacks are. Do this as a poll on Instagram stories, stuff like that, and actually share the results with your community because, again, that's going to create the community aspect so much more and that's also going to be a great thing because people love talking about what's going on we'll join the conversation much better than if you're asking just your normal questions that you're asking in edgar um, so think about ways you can actually ask those questions um, if you haven't used the actual stories feature in edgar yet joe right here this blog post right here um, that'll take you through how actually the flow is going to work for posting instagram stories with edgar Again, you load your content for Instagram the exact same way you do for every other account. Obviously, it needs a photo or a video. You load it into your um, you load it into your library. You set your schedule, and then the push notification comes, and that's when you choose to post it to your feed or to your story. Um, so you can absolutely make a holiday related questions category, uh, Christopher. Same deal as we did with those other categories. It's just make sure you go ahead and uncheck that random time slot. Um, go ahead and 
click on this categories tab here, click to add a new category, make it a holidays question category, and you can uncheck this, include when selecting random content to post. Go ahead and load up all of your holiday questions categories in there ahead of time. You can then either go to your schedule, and if you have a normal questions category, you can just change it to your holiday questions category. Um, say this was our normal questions category. I can just click into there on my schedule and make it my holiday questions category instead and let that run through. Once the holiday season is over, come back to that time slot and change it back to my normal questions category. Or you can add in an additional holiday questions category that way as well. Um, so it's a great thing to be able to, like I said, speak into what actually is going on this holiday season. Cool. Um, so going a little further with this question idea, I want you to either um, go in there and make your um, questions category or just do a one-time question as, a, um, as an accountability partner for New Year's changes. Screenshot it, send it to us, 50% off your next month of Edgar. Behind the scenes content this holiday season. This is really great to make sure you're diversifying your content a little bit more, as well as really showing off the personality and interests of your staff. So think about what we do here at Edgar. We are a small business supporting small businesses. So what is a great thing for us to capitalize on this year? Small Business Saturday. So we're gonna do a spotlight blog post here like we did last year about our favorite small businesses. So this is a really great way to talk to what's going on, not only um, in what you guys are going through, which is making sure you get your Small Business Saturday campaign set up, but it also lets you know a little bit about our team. Um, so think about that behind the scenes content so people can really get to know you, because the more you put out there, the more you're going to put back. It really helps you stay top of mind as a person, and you know people buy from real people. We've been over this before. People wanna buy from people, not just a logo, not just a brand. And doing special holiday-related content can be really cool for this. And your values and your mission, like we talked about before, the more you share them and the more you talk about them and the more you share your team and you, your office holiday party is a great Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter post to put out there. The more you share this kind of stuff, the more people are gonna see you as a person and it's not gonna happen overnight. So this is a great time to get that behind the scenes content going in a holiday spirit way um, that really talks right into people. So your next Edgar action item is you can either create like a holiday category or add these in as um, a holiday behind the scenes category or add these in as one-offs. Um, you know, think about questions you can ask yourself about, you know, what gift are you really excited to give this year? That is a really valuable piece of content, not only for your followers to get to know you, but it also might spark some ideas for them on what gifts that they can give um, their community this time of year as well. You know, where was your business this time last year? We love a good origin story. As humans, we want to root ourselves in a good, great origin story. So this is a great one to get out there to share where your business came from um, and kind of get a good look back on there. Share a childhood photo of you. People love that kind of stuff on social media to attach an actual vibe of you as a person. Go ahead and share some charity givings that you're doing. The season of generosity. People will love that and it shares the fact that you are a value-based company. Share your team holiday party. Do you have any travel tips that are going on this time of year? It is going to be so important to go ahead and put those travel tips out there so people can get that and learn from you. So create a behind the scenes post, screenshot it, go ahead and send it on over to Edgar. So I know a lot of you went and put in that you guys are working on list building this time of year as well um, in our pre-party checklist. And if I haven't emailed you a personal answer to any of your questions from that, I'm gonna do that right after the holiday um, content batching party today. So be on the lookout for that email. I apologize for not getting it out earlier, but I'll email you that directly shortly. But I noticed a lot of goals were centered around list building. So I wanna give you some ideas on how you can prepare your audience to say, yes, I wanna get on your email list through so social media, because that's really what social media is for. It is priming your audience, it's getting them ready to actually get on your email list so you can then start the actual selling and nurturing process even further through email. Some things you can start doing on social media to do this is start to get some sort of curiosity um, going on. So this is a post that we did to build our email list last year. Something exciting is on the way. You can see over here it says, some of you might have already heard, but we're doing something big tomorrow. Get on our email list so you don't miss this very special deal. Link in profile since this was an Instagram post. So think about ways you can really incentivize your specific audience to need to get on your email list. 
Because if you guys aren't growing your email list, it's really hard to nurture and sell people in a direct way. Social is great, but driving people to that list is really what your goal is going to be. So think about ways you can do that. Another great um, post for actually going in and reminding people we're sending emails, getting your click rates up through social media this holiday season. Remember, social media is a part of your full marketing plan is to say, you know, are you on our list? Um, then you're going to want to check your email for a special offer. Um, if you're not on the list, still come join and grab the deal before it ends. So think about these things. Um, that you can actually go ahead and do to incentivize people not only to open your emails if you're doing really great email deals, uh, but to also get on your list and get that great value from you. <clears throat> Create a gift so that you are actually incentivizing people to give you their emails as well. You know that lead magnets are so important for increasing your email list, and the holiday season is a great time to do this. Think about ways you can repackage some of your existing blog posts or some of your existing content into like a PDF. You know, here at Edgar, one of our biggest PDFs is like our secret blogging formula. We made that from content we already had written on our blog and just redesigned it into a PDF, into a different flow. And that we use to go ahead and gain actual followers. You can make a free page with, um, to actually go in on like MailChimp and make a free page for people to download this, to enter their email address to get it. So think about what you have to actually offer people in a PDF form and make it an exclusive ebook for them or something like that in order to incentivize them to give you their email list. You could create a roundup of your favorite moments on social media this year and actually go ahead and screenshot some of your standout moments or some of your favorite things that happened during this year. A roundup, again, is a great place not only to orient people, but to create that community aspect. Call out some of your um, favorite social media moments and your favorite followers and go ahead and share that um, in a roundup email and get people excited about actually continuing to visit your social media. You have to start creating something to get something in return. People don't just hand over their email addresses. So again, in those first couple of posts we looked at, what were we creating? We were creating a sense of urgency that your discount is coming in your email, so get on our email list to get that discount. We created that discount, and we want your email address for it. That's a super simple one to do. Other things you can think about doing to grow your email list is make a like how to guide for holiday shopping. It might not directly be related to your product or service, but if you brand it that way and you get their email addresses, people are going to give it to you if that's something they're struggling with this holiday season. Create a PDF um, for that holiday guide. Like we were talking about discount codes, create some urgency around discount codes to increase your sales for that stuff. Go ahead and create a blog post on stuff like holiday lights. Again, it might not actually be something that is directly related to your company, but it's something people are going through, and it's much more likely they'll go to your website there. If you're not creating a PDF download for this, if it's just your site, you can create a pop-up then and say, join our email to get more information about this. All of these things work together to grow your list this time of year. You could create a holiday bundle, again, thinking about the content you already have and upcycling it into a bundle for your um, audience to be able to say, you know, did you miss all of this content throughout the year? Here it is in one bundle for you. It's an easy thing to do, even on Google Drive, um, just to send people a link with a bunch of docs in it. Um, and in order to get that, if they want to get your swipe file, if they want to get that bundle, they're giving you their email list. So think about creative ways that you can go ahead and do this. So the next Edgar action item is going to go ahead and um, be to make a lead magnet to collect your email addresses. This is a big one. So if you're going to take the time to do this, I'm going to be super duper impressed. But I would love to go ahead and see you do this so you guys are actually growing your email address. Um, sorry, your email list this year. All right. So. If you want to get some different results this holiday season, you have to go ahead and do something different. And the holiday season is a great time to validate new ideas you have. So start brainstorming some of these like, what if I did this idea that you have actually had this time of year? You know, Have you had any what if ideas on social media and not put them to use? 
The holiday season is a great time to put that into your meet Edgar account and actually get those new ideas out there that you might not have actually done previously. And remember, you're talking to actual people, so get those questions in there. Find out who your followers are so you can really capitalize on learning um, what they want to hear about, ask questions in your Instagram stories, and then start validating these new ideas that you're getting from their responses and putting them into Edgar and actually seeing if those are driving more traffic. A great question I'd love to recommend asking your audience, especially um, this time of year, is to talk about what your ideas are for the new year. Again, people want to be a part of the companies they're buying from. People want to feel like they um, are heard, like they are actually getting the features and the product that is going to support them. So use the magic question of saying, you know, if I were to create whatever, would you be interested? It brings your community into the creation process so that you're actually A, validating the idea, and B, making them feel like they are heard. People love feature requesting. People love making sure that they're in the right place. Um, so ask this question. Put this in your Edgar account and actually say, you know, this time of year, I'm starting to think about the business for 2020. If I were to create XYZ, would you be interested? You're going to get a goldmine of information from your actual followers about what they want from you in the new year, which is super exciting to grow your business. Other things you can do is actually start to ask these kind of questions in your Instagram stories with that little poll feature that we were talking about where people can actually type it in so you can get that information in one place. Um, I love what Urban Outfitters did right here where they said, important info about this picture in our Instagram stories. So think about ways you can actually cross promote if you are doing a lot of questions in your Instagram stories. Um, think about ways you can promote that on your feed with a beautiful curated picture if you don't wanna have those questions on your feed anyway. So how can you make your community a part of your marketing team this holiday season? It's with holiday contests. Um, so if you're struggling in order to really get a lot of word of mouth marketing, this time of year is great to test out different holiday contests. You can see a couple of super easy examples here. Samsung's, um, Samsung's contest here is just about tagging a friend and tell them why they deserve a free tablet that they're offering. So you can do a contest simply on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, where you say, tag a friend who would appreciate X, Y, Z and tell us why. We'll choose one winner by the end of the month. What a great way to bring in a lot of tags, to bring in your followers as a part of your marketing team, opening up your brand to their audience. I love the hotel tonight aspect over here, super simple again, saying, ready for the holidays, grandma's inflating your air mattress, checking with it twice, maybe this time of year, um, you should visit and not stay, book a, hell with a hotel with a hotel tonight. And then they're gonna go on and say, comment with your best story here, and they'll go ahead and give you a further discount. So you can think about ways that all your followers have to do is comment or tag other people, and it opens up your brand to their audience. Holiday contests are great, great, great for word of mouth marketing. Everyone loves nostalgia and sharing and creating this type of content this time of year, so don't miss out. Think about the nostalgia you can bring in with your behind the scenes content that we talked about, as well as your questions content, and really employ that emotional aspect because we are such emotionally driven people when it comes to purchase power. So remind people of the holiday season, get that sense of urgency in your posts, and really make sure that you're sharing your own memories so people remember they're buying from people, they're supporting person um, on the other end of their business. And this is really gonna create a sense of community for you guys this holiday season. And last, don't forget to decorate this holiday season. If you're using like a special branded hashtag, especially to like get a contest going, like um, hashtag Edgar Holidays or something, if we did something like that, consider putting that like in your cover photo so it's everywhere. Consider really treating your social media like an actual home where you're decorating with lights. Update your cover photo, update all that stuff. It makes it a really fun and relatable experience. And again, it's speaking into what people are going through this time of year. Really fun fact that I actually learned while reading for this. Did you guys know that Coca-Cola actually invented Santa Claus? Anyway, super weird thing that I just learned and I was excited to share with you all. Um, so again, this is a great example of Sears' cover photo during the holiday. They want people to use these um, hashtags about their campaigns that they're running with Bring the Slay, um, More Merry, stuff like that. They're putting it in their cover photo to remind people of that stuff. So make sure you're thinking about ways you can actually decorate yours um, this holiday season. 
All right, guys, so keep your questions coming. Maura is probably going to jump off pretty soon because she has the social biz chat on our Twitter page. If you've never experienced one of those, if you go to our Twitter account every Wednesday, we do run a social biz chat, which is great to connect with small businesses everywhere in order to have more conversations. Um, but I'll go ahead and stay on a little bit. Yes, Christopher, I'll share that link in a second here. But if you have other um if you have other questions about like Edgar's features and stuff like that, I'll share my screen and kind of keep those going. Thank you, Maura, for staying. Um, have fun in the chat if you guys are going over there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But remember, you need to do this hard work now about actually um, batching your seasonal content so that you can then enjoy the holidays. You can pivot to reach your goals and you can make sure you're resonating with your followers right now. Um, you know, your people are paying you for your time and your energy and your expertise this time of year. So you need to make sure that you're recharging and you need to make sure you're showing up for your followers. Um, so these Edgar action items are going to be emailed to you if you guys didn't get them in the first round, if you just joined. Um, again, we are doing a 50% off here next month. If you guys take any Edgar action item and add a seasonal post to Edgar, um, go ahead and screenshot it, go ahead and DM us or tag us on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll get you that discount. Um, so go ahead and make sure you get that. Let me find that Chrome extension real quick, Christopher, and keep your questions coming. Like I said, I'll stay on here for a few more minutes and go into other feature questions that you guys might not have gotten answer because I know I talk super quick here. All right, so do, 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 here is our bookmarklet and browser extension. If you go to our help center, um, you can always go ahead and type in like browser extension, and it'll come up. But that link right there, we'll go ahead and provide that to you. We also have a help article um, seasonal for seasonal content for how you go ahead and create, I just spelled seasonal wrong, um, for how you go ahead and create that seasonal category for like limited run categories on your schedule. Um, so that's going to be here. I'll include it in the replay email when I send it out. Um, but those two articles are going to be your browser extension as well as the seasonal content one there. So it's really great, again, um, to be able to get those seasonal categories loaded now so that when the season comes, all you have to do is pop that category onto your schedule, let it run through that way, or you already have your schedule send and save. Um, let me go ahead and get you that help article now. So the seasonal um, category is great for your campaigns. If you wanted to do the one-offs, um, remember you do have the schedule send and save option as well as the use once option. And what that allows for is really being able to uh, get your one-time posts out. And that's going to be in this help article right here. So the first link there is a bookmarklet. Second is your limited run events. And third is how you get that schedule send and save for the specific time. All right, cool. So if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. I know just crazy. Coke brand invented Santa for sure. Um, I'm going to go back through a few of these here. Um, go ahead and see. It doesn't look like there's too many actual questions more I didn't get to going on. So that's awesome. Um, Avalon, hi, I'm interested in starting therapy groups and did create a blog, Why Group Therapy is Best Christmas Gift Ever. Any other ideas for holiday posts? Okay, great. That is awesome, Avalon. I'm glad you're speaking right into that time of year. Um, you can go ahead and talk about the benefits of group therapy for staying sane this holiday season around family, stuff like that. Think about what people are actually going through this time of year, what they're experiencing, all of that some um, fun stuff. It is going to be something that you want to actually ask your followers what they need to. If you're going into other groups that have group therapy already, I suggest, you know, searching Facebook for other groups that have your ideal client in it or going on to Instagram and searching hashtags that your ideal client might be hanging out in and seeing what questions they're asking, seeing what they're posting themselves, stock their profiles a little bit see what the pain points you think they're having are and creating guides around that. You know, don't reinvent the wheel. There's a ton of Facebook groups out there and Facebook groups are really active these days where your ideal clients are hanging out and asking each other questions. And that's a really great way for you to say, okay, this is what's missing from the conversation. I can go ahead and provide that. 
Um, for you especially, Adeline, um, it's going to be something that building that know, like, and trust factor, especially for group therapy, is going to be the people actually want to get to know the you side. So I would definitely recommend doing video content for that. They want to know who they're going to be working with in order to get that trust vibe going. So I would consider pulling out your iPhone, doing a couple minute video of actually talking through some of the steps that you're going to be teaching them, some of the stuff that you find beneficial for group therapy. If you can get someone who's gone through your program before, if you've worked with someone before, who would be happy to hop on like a Zoom call with you to do like a testimonial. This stuff is going to be really important for you, especially since it is a bigger ticket item as well as a bigger trust item um, that you actually get that face to face connection. And that can really get people um, over the hump and actually connecting with you. You can add video to Edgar to get video going out. Um, but yeah, I would definitely suggest thinking about, you know, what a big jump it is for people to be able to trust that they're going into the right group. So showing your face and showing your voice and showing your vibe on camera, as well as thinking of if you can get some testimonials from previous clients, um, that is going to be super important for building that know, like, and trust factor. Um, I know video, but it's not that scary. I promise you that you can do it. Um, you know, I'm definitely not someone who um, was super confident in video before I started working at Edgar, and it is something that's super nice to have. Um, just as the ability to be able to say, you know what, all it is is a conversation. All it is is genuinely trying to have a conversation with people. So I definitely think you can do it. Um, and I would say it is really exciting that way. Um, Cool, Teresa, super glad that you are gonna get that Octopel going. That's really exciting. Um, cool, Jen, I'm super excited to hear you're gonna get your to-do list knocked out. Slides, okay, yeah, I'll be sure just to go ahead and include the slides in the replay email. That'll go out in the next hour or so. And I'll include the Edgar action items as well as the slides um, here so that you guys can go ahead and relook at those as you want, as well as the replay to this webinar here. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we'll also go ahead and have this, um, we do have, if you guys have a, any features, especially as we're starting our roadmap for 2020, we have this feature request link here. Um, I would love for you guys to fill it out. If there's anything you feel like is missing from Edgar that you feel like would make things easier for you, we would love to hear about it. Go ahead and fill that out now. Um, Let's see what else. We have a survey form for this specific workshop today. If you guys have anything that you want to learn in future um, content batching parties, that form right there. I'll send it in the replay email, though. I would be super grateful for you to go ahead and fill out different things that you want to actually learn. You know, do you like the vibe of us actually going in and doing these slides? I know I get really excited in slides and I start talking really fast. So would you rather have it more like interactive in any way? If you fill out that form and let us know, it just helps us month to month to know if we like it more structured or if you want more Q&A. And last but not least, if you guys are looking for more like Edgar setup help, um, we do office hours daily. Um, there's typically only like one to two people in a session. So you get really individualized help. Um, and then this right here, this link right here, um, is going to go ahead and always have the updated times of day that we do office hours. And this is where you can just come on in. It is super unstructured. There's no agenda at all. You go ahead and ask your questions about an Edgar setup, anything like that. Um, and I typically run these and we'll go into any kind of setup questions you have. So definitely attend to office hours if you have any questions as you're getting your seasonal content loaded in all of that jazz. Um, cool. Jess, I'm not so sure what you mean by your emojis looking weird, but if you want to go ahead and screenshot it and send it to support at me, Edgar.com, I would love to take a look. Um, I do have to hop off now. You guys have been amazing. I'm going to go ahead and get you all of these replay information soon. Please, like I said, just screenshot it and send it to support at me, Edgar.com. I'll be in the inbox all afternoon. The rest of you, screenshot your Edgar action items and actually go ahead and send it to us. And we would love to be able to see what you guys are working on for holiday content. Um, do it in the next week, so do it before next Wednesday. I'm also going to be sending out a checkout, a check-in email next Wednesday based on the goals that you guys submitted for your um, content batching party goals here to seeing how you're doing, being your accountability partner. Um, and I'll let you know that discount was applied in that email that I sent you. Cool. So thanks for joining. Like I said, go ahead and email support at meagger.com or come to an office hour session with more questions. Thanks a million, guys. I'll see you next month.